Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, Austin Kelly. Welcome to The Vibe. We are here at the Markey Theater in Tempe, Arizona. I'm here with a multi-award winning journalist. He has also had uh, multiple Emmy Award or multiple Emmy nominations, right? You've had multiple Emmy mm-hmm. nominations. And you've also covered such historic stories like the Rodney King and the O.J. Simpson trials, which is really cool. And now you could catch him on Arizona Family TV, where he hosts his own segment called Caught Misbehaving, where he catches people across Arizona doing radical stuff. They defy the law, and they're usually causing scenes, which is pretty crazy. And we're going to talk about that. Please help me welcome Stanley Roberts. How you doing, man? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you for coming out, man. So Thank you for inviting me. Let's get straight to it. All right. So, straight to it. Caught Misbehaving, what is that? about dig more into detail like what you do with that because what i know you have a camera and you follow these these stories around across arizona like what is that about well what it is about is going out and looking for things that people do that you would consider to be not exactly either legal or being courteous to people right or even sometimes it's just something so obscure that you go i didn't know that was going on right and so i try to bring this up to light and talk to people about it to try to bring out more information about it if i can a story that I thought was interesting on uh, your segment, Caught Misbehaving, was the two signs. It was like almost, what was it, a three-dimensional sign with the two car signs in Buckeye, right? It was actually Phoenix on Buckeye Road. On Buckeye Road. And uh, there was like a lot of birds. It's like a, a nest or like a coop nest for pigeons. And they get stuck in there and they sadly, some of them die. Like, what was that about? Well, it was meant to, it, it was set up to be an, just a, a marquee for this. Uh, place for car parts. Right. Great idea. But then they realized that pigeons were going inside because it's something unique. It's not a inclo- it's not closed up like most signs. Mm-hmm. This one had a Ford pickup truck and a Volkswagen Bug. Right. And so they thought, well, how do we keep the pigeons out? So you know, they put a net over it. Mm-hmm. Seemed like a good idea, except for no one did some research. Pigeons will get in anywhere they want to. Yeah. So the pigeons got in. The only problem is a lot of them couldn't get out. Right, and they could squeeze through anything really at that, at that point. And so they died. And there's a poor picture of like a bird with his neck in between the neck. Well, you can see like, that he, he died a gruesome death because he tried to squeeze out and he pushed and he pushed and he just, and he just pushed until he finally just died. Yeah, and it was horrible. Yeah. And his, he was like, his whole neck and his eyes were just like, yeah. his, his, his eyes were closed. It's like the cartoon with the eyes and you know, the, the cross thing, you know. And my favorite, all time favorite scam, which I can't figure out for the life of me how people get caught up in that one, is hey, can you help me? Can you send me some gift cards for PlayStation? Yes. <laughs> a lot of that happens on social media. Oh, a and people fall for it. Yeah. People fall for it they'll all send, the time. They'll send $50 Amazon gift cards. Dude, they have sent, I got a guy who sent $6,500 in gift cards. $6,500 in gift cards. And wonder, how, how do you know it was a scam? Wow. You that did not cool. know that this guy needed gift cards from PlayStation, Best Buys, to help feed his family. That is crazy. Yeah. And then there's also a lot of dating scams. But then, yeah. And that takes us right back to what you said in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Not a lot of bright people. Not a lot of bright people. The dating scams, that's a whole other story to begin with. I'm not even going to get into that. Well, you got scammed on a date? Uh, Come on, tell us, man. I mean. Tell me about it. How would it go? uh, No, I want to hear. No, man. It's too too hard to talk about. Uh, Let's talk about it. I, can't. I mean, it's okay. It's through, act like I'm Dr. Phil for a second. It's through Tinder. Come on. It's oh, through Tinder. It's okay. Tell me. It's what through, happened? It's through Tinder. It's okay. You could be... Uh, let's have a Tinder moment. All right. We'll have a Tinder moment about Tinder. Okay. okay tell me. Moment. What happened? Right, so, there was this one time mm-hmm. where I was, you know, talking... No, let's, just, let's just say random person. Yeah. There's this one time there's random person. This random person, and this is actually true, a random person... It's not about me. This random person... Not about him. It's not about me. person. Okay. Uh, he was... This person... He was talking to this girl, and this girl, she was so persistent. She's like, hey, let's meet up. Let, where do you live? What's your address? And then she wanted to just keep on prying and prying and prying. And then this person, he was like, okay, uh, let's you know, work something out. I don't want to give you my address, but we can meet up in a public place. And she just kept prying and prying and prying. Mm-hmm. And then she kept asking him, pick me up at the airport. And you picked, I mean, he picked him up at the airport? I, no, he, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't. Okay. <laughs> he didn't. Okay. Um, but this person was so persistent, pick me up at the airport and let's hang out at your house. It's a random girl. What are the odds? And the pictures from the girl, it just looked fake. It looked like someone took a picture from a 
screen. So and you then, got catfish. I mean, that guy got catfish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I he got catfished, mm-hmm. and he uh, he uh, luckily he uh, didn't owe money. He didn't owe. He didn't meet the person or whatever in the airport. And yeah. That, so how did you feel? I mean, how did he feel about this whole thing? He felt um, well. At one point, uh, I was. I mean, he was. Uh, <laughs> He was uh, he was disappointed because it, okay, was, it was right. a, it was this, uh, I can tell this is this is it was you know what I, come here because it, okay, it was it was it was my come one here, yeah here. it's okay man it was it happens it happens, it happens bro because it was my it, one bro, time to bro it's okay man you know what you only have you have two heads and one thinks when the other one thinks the other one can't yeah you know what yeah I try to be smarter than that but I guess you know. Wait, wait. I mean, he tries to be smarter than that. He tries to be smarter than that. He, okay, I do want to make sure we, because. All right, I'm just, bro, bro. I'm just trying to make sure, man. Yeah. You know, you know uh, what? You know, but was she cute when you saw her? On the picture, she was cute. He, I she, mean, she. But the picture he showed you, he was showed she cute. Me. Yeah, she. He showed me, and he's like, "Oh, check out this girl," and I'm like, and he, I'm like, "Oh, she's cute." Yeah. So. All right. Yeah. And but when you, but when he saw her in real life. It was like, whoa, snap! Yeah, 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 because it didn't turn out to be who all right, he all really right, was right. talking Well, I know your friend probably didn't want this information revealed, so we'll just keep it as our secret. We're not saying the name anyway. We're not saying so. anybody's name. Okay. But eventually, he will find the right, the right person. So about the coronavirus, right? <laughs> <laughs> just jump right into it. Woo! I actually posted, or you posted on your Instagram, just... Oh, you were watching my, uh, Instagram. my, my, my secret stash. Your secret... This is a <laughs> stash, right? No, that's not mine. I well, show you my secret stash. Go, go to another one. There it is, right there. That's my secret stash. Wait, wait for it. Wait for it. There it is. I got that in the safe, Brett. Oh, I got that in the safe. Let's talk about um, the Rodney King and O.J. Simpson trials. What was it like covering those stories um, when you did cover those stories? It was in the 90s, 92? Right. And so um, I was in L.A., and... Uh, I was actually home when the verdict came down, but and I was actually not in the news business when the whole thing went down in the beginning. Mm-hmm. I think the thing went down in 94, or the, the trial was in 94, but I think the other thing happened before that. So I wasn't quite in, in it yet. Mm-hmm. I heard about it, I saw it, but then I ended up being part of it when the, when the trial happened. Right, O.J. Simpson, um, I also did that one as well. Right. And the Menendez, I worked on that one. So I've done a lot. I worked on the show LAPD, the TV series. Mm-hmm. Um, I've worked on um, TV shows, movies, films, mm-hmm. so I've done a little bit of everything. And then you also got a uh, an award in 2016. Um, what was the name of the award again? It's in San Montillo. San Montillo. It was in San Montillo, right, where you got the award, right? It's called San Mateo. San Mateo. M A T E O. San Mateo. San Mateo. There Remember, we go. Remember, everything out there is like Spanish. Right. San Mateo, and I'm part Spanish too. So, right. so I want you to look at the camera and apologize. To everybody who lives in San Mateo. I, I apologize, it's San Mateo, not San Mateo. It's San Mateo. San Mateo. San Mateo. Sorry, guys. I'll well, get it my, my, I mean, all jokes aside, my, my goal is to expand. I mean, I would love to do this nationally. It would be great uh, because there's so many problems in so many cities. I'm getting emails from as far away as Hong Kong. Uh, wow. Which story? Uh, North Carolina, South Carolina, Florida. Uh, uh, I was actually in China. I used to be called the... Since they don't have people behaving badly in China, they called it the catcher of evildoers. Mm. So I was in the Be- Beijing Times. This was a long time ago. It's hard to find it now, but I was. Right. And I was the catcher of evildoers. Uh, I've had stories written about me in Australia. Uh, I've had I've gotten awards from Congress, mm. um, and I have something called and this is like this here, a golden mic. I've gotten I've won four golden mics for my for work I've done in television. Okay, cool. I like that too. That's really cool. And what people don't realize is that everything you see me do, 90% of it is I shoot it by myself. Yeah. You just and I write it and I edit it. That's really awesome because it does take a lot for someone to even just do that by themselves and, you know, learn the skills to do it too. Yeah. And you... Uh, well, people always call me up and send me emails. Uh, your job sucks. I could do that very easily. I love to bring them in and let them do my job, but don't give me any training. Exactly. Okay, I'll, go, I'll go do it. Let's do it. I don't know how to Go out, know how to work a camera, go out, edit all the footage, yeah. and do your voiceovers on it, too, and do and yourself. But, I, goes. but since you can do my job, I don't have to tell you anything. You can just go do it. Follow him on Instagram at Stanley Roberts TV, right? Right. And There's also a Stanley Roberts AZ, too. Is so it? It's me. Okay. But, you know, and then, I, TV is more TV, and the other one's more whatever I put on it. And on Twitter, is it the same thing? It's uh, Stanley Roberts 
Stanley Roberts. Just Stanley Roberts. At Stanley Roberts as well on Twitter. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, you can follow me on Instagram at The Vibe Interviews. And we'll see you next time, guys. Bam! Bam!